All right. Hello again, Ed v v v v v v v Adventurers, and welcome to another exciting episode of D and D D D D Deep Dive, the show where we dive deep into classes, subclasses, and other f f features of D and D f Fifth Edition to help you get the most out of your ch -ch choices. So today, um. If you are uh, unaware, there is a show on t -t -t Twitch called C -c -c Critical Role. Um, and they're currently on their so the second KKKK campaign right now. And one of the characters, minor so so spoiler alert, um, is played by t -t -t Travis Willingham. Uh, he, is, uh, he started as a Hexblade w -w 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 Warlock. In the campaign, and through things that happen in the Kicka campaign, uh, he eventually starts taking some levels in P -P Paladin. I did not see l -l 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 last night's episode, so I actually don't know um, all the background b -b behind this. But I'm assuming he hit third level in P -P Paladin because he got to choose his oath for his p -p paladin and it turns out that it is a b -b -b brand new oath uh created by m -m -m matt mercer called the oath of the open ccc and this was specifically created for f -f 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 ford um again i haven't seen the sh uh, uh l -l last night's episode so i can't really give you any sissy spoilers beyond the uh idea that something happened that got him to ch -ch choose his oath. Uh, and now we have this n -n new oath to look at. And you better b -b -b believe I'm going to go, 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 go through this. Um, now, the cool thing ab -ab about this is if you want to, 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 to use the, the, this, uh, it's on d, &D Beyond r -r 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 right now. I don't believe it c -c costs anything. I believe just uh, if you, um, when you create a character, there's all these options on the f -f first page. Uh, about what content you want in Cook Cook included. Um, if you just turn on the critical role Cook content, this should show up um, under the p -p 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 Paladin uh, uh, oaths. Uh, so, so, so uh, let's uh, go, 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 go into us now. Um, Matt Mercer did you just uh, kind of announced th 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 this um, thirty-seven m m minutes ago, according to to to, 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 uh, to, to Twitter uh, on my Cook Cook computer. Um, uh, he did um, mention this is uh, just for f -f fun. Uh, it hasn't really been play tested. Um, uh, so so, so uh, there are ch -ch chances that this may be wildly unbalanced. Uh, so I want to go into this with the idea uh, that, that, that um, there's a good chance this will get m -m -m modified as. Uh, uh, it gets played a little bit, 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 bit more. Uh, however, um, I'm going to l l look at it uh, anyways. I'm going to point out the things I like, point out the, th the things I don't like, and give you guys some tips on how you can g g use this k -k character to its m uh, m most f effective. Um, like I said, j j j just remember, uh, this, I this isn't even uh, in the realm of uh, unearthed our ar k -k Kana. This is literally Matt just c -c created something for one of his Puffa players, and he released it uh, uh, to 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 to, to um, everyone else that was interested. So, um, with the, 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 that being said, uh, let's jump into this. So, so um, to kind of give uh, a refresher on how the p -p Paladin w -w 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 works, uh, Paladins are uh, half casters. Um, so they get less s -s -s spell slots than a f -f full caster, and they can only cast spells up to f -f fifth level. They also gain their spell slots this is slower. Um, the paladin itself is kind of d -d designed to, d to be uh, a holy w -w 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 warrior, kind of a, um, a, a mixture of f -f fighter and c -c 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 cleric. Um, and uh, the kind of defining things that make a paladin a p -p paladin are lay on ha -ha hands, which is this really cool thing where they literally just go up and use an action to, to, to touch 
uh, so someone, and they have this pool of hit points that they can just dump into p -p 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 people as many, <coughs> excuse me, as many or as p -p few as the, 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 the they want. So, <clears throat> uh, if they, let's say they have 20 hit points they can use, they can give someone one hit point. They can give them 20 or any number in b -b -b between. They can also use a little lay on hands, uh, in five hit point intervals to remove diseases and poisons and th 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 things like that. So that's one defining feature of the P -P Paladin. The other one um, is one of the ways they can use their sister spells. They get spell casting at s -s second level, um, <clears throat> but they have this thing called d -d -d Divine Smite, which basically m -m -m means instead of casting a spell, whenever they hit uh, uh, a creature, they can add s -s smite damage on t -t 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 to it. Um, it's done by, they burn a Sissa spell slot and they do extra damage based on what level the Sissa spell slot was. I think, uh, first level should be 2d8, I b -b 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 believe. I have the darn thing in front of me. I can just look at it. Um, uh, so yeah, it's 2d8 for a, for a first level spell slot plus an additional d8 for each spell level higher up to a maximum of 5d8. Um, so using a f -f fourth, um, <clears throat> uh, using a f -f fourth level s -s 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 spell slot for d -d divine smite would do an additional f -f five d, -d, 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 -d damage. Now, um, this is really important for p -p paladins because they get to choose whether they're going to smite or not after they hit. So something really, really good, good common for paladins to, 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 to do, um, is um to 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 uh crit they'll they'll see that they got a crit and then they will just add on so this is might damage because all of those dice uh that you get from smite will be doubled um if you get a good crit so uh those are the kind of two really d -d defining features of the P -P paladin they are very martial uh they get a fighting style at uh, i think second level first or second level so they get a fighting style they they're they're really really b -b -b built to be able to wade into c -c 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 combat, uh, deal a lot of b -b burst damage b -b 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 very, very c -c quickly, and then keep other p -p -p people alive and add a little bit of u -u utility as well. Um, so everything in uh, the, the, the Oath should somehow help uh, those I d -d 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 ideas. Either it should improve the d Divine Smite, improve the la -la -la Lay on Hands, or, or improve just that kind of the martial ability in g g general. Um, so uh, let's uh, let's see how well it will, will works. Um, now, again, one of the cool things about the Paladin, more so than most other k -k classes, is their oath um, has a lot of lore and role playing b -b -b behind it. Each oath uh, will actually have tenets. Uh, the, 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 the tenets for the Oath of the Open CCC are no greater life than a life lived for free, um, which is actually going to uh, factor into a lot of um, uh, the abilities here. So uh, the tenets are really, really important for this particular oath. Um, uh, Trust the Skies is the second to the tenets. Uh, the third tenet is Adapt Like the w -w Water, and the fourth tenet is explore the uncharted. Um, so uh, let's dive right into it. Every oath gives them what are called oath spells. These are just additional um, spells uh, the, 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 that they have access to. to, 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 to. Um, and... Uh, Uh, you always have them pre pre prepared. They don't count against your uh, uh, prepared uh, number of pre pre prepared spells you can have per, per, per day. Um, they're uh, a, a pretty useful and, again, uh, a, a pretty integral to being a, a, a paladin. Um, the uh, oath spells, I'm not going to go through all, all of them, uh, but they really kind of uh, uh, bridge a couple different topics. You have things like Expeditious Retreat and m m m Misty Step. Uh, that really allow for uh, significantly more m -m movement, different movement that really fits in well to the Explore the Uncharted and no g -g greater life than a life lived for free. You have this idea of freedom uh, and the, the things like that really kind of fit with those. And then you also have a lot of stuff factored around water and storms. You have uh, Creator Destroy Water, Tidal Wave, c -c Call Lightning, 
Um, even when you get up to the higher ones, you have things like Maelstrom, Commune with the Nature. So this is really uh, uh, a very water-focused paladin, which makes sense uh, because uh, Ford uh, himself is uh, a former... Um, uh, former sailor. I mean, he still is. They have the uh, they have a b b boat, um, and he's the captain and, and everything. So it makes sense that he would have a very water themed th uh, class. Uh, the other thing um, that's not technically a defining f f f f feature of the p p p paladin, uh, but it's a flavoring f f feature because they don't uh, really get it until um, third level, unlike like, a clerics. Um, is you get their uh, ch ch channel divinity. Um, and the channel divinities are really interesting. Now, uh, if you remember to cook clerics, clerics, as they get higher, uh, get multiple uses of their ch 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 channel divinity. Whereas p -p -p paladins um, uh, only get one use per sh -sh short or l -l 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 long rest. So. Um, uh, this is a kind of one and did a done thing. Um, because each uh, oath gets two different ch -ch channel divinities, you kind of get to pick an either or to the type of thing. Is this one going to be more useful for me now, or do I want to save it for, 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 for the other one? Uh, so the two ch -ch channel divinities for, for, for um, uh, the oath of the open sea are uh, Marine L -l Layer and Fury of the t -t Tides. Um, Marine layer is really, really interesting. As an action, um, you can ch -ch channel the sea to create a thick c -c cloud of fog that surrounds you and heavily obscures the area for 20 feet in all directions, following you as you m -m -m move. You and any creatures you choose within f -f five feet of you can see through the fog and suffer no p -p penalties from being w w w within it. The fog lasts for 10 minutes and spreads around corners and can't be d d d dispersed. This is a really, really b -b big deal. And I'll t to tell you why. Um, there uh, was uh, a relatively b -b 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 popular uh, multi-class in the Adventures League in, uh, I want to say like the first three or four s s s seasons, it was pretty p -p popular for people that p -p played monks what would happen is you would take two levels uh, of uh, warlock to get the devil sites uh, um, uh, uh, eldritch whatever it's called their their extra b -b ability things um, and the, 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 then uh, you would go um, way of shadow m -m -m monk because uh, third level for w w way of shadow they get the ability to cast the darkness using their k k key points darkness is an interesting s -s spell because you cast it on uh, a point or an, uh, uh, an object uh, and actually sticks to the, 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 the object so something that was really really k k common uh, was the uh, shadow monk would cast the darkness on a pebble would pick up the the, the, the pebble because uh, uh, monks didn't need to have weapons, so you could just hold it in one hand, and as long as it wasn't completely c -c 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 covered, um, the darkness would spread out and spread around. With Devil's Sight, they could actually see through m -m magical darkness. Without Devil's Sight, uh, you can't see in m -m magical darkness even with d -d 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 dark vision. Um, and so what that would eff effectively do uh, is allow them to go around... Uh, uh, and attack um, every or most of opponents with advantage because they couldn't see him, and any attacks against him would be at a disadvantage because they could couldn't see him, but he could could see the, 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 the them. Um, and it also would do things like break line of sysocyte. Uh It was a really really p -p -p powerful th -th thing because you basically had a, a, a monk uh, that could go anywhere that, that, that they wanted and was never really getting hit. The reason I b b bring that up is Marine Layer basically w w w works like that with less w w work. There's no multi -c 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 classing involved. Um, <clears throat> involved, it just takes you getting to the, the third level. Um, and I gotta say, I I like the, 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 that um, because it's a channel divinity. Uh, you're actually uh, much more limited than uh, Lock Monks uh, w w w w w were. Um, because they could they could cast uh, the darkness uh, as long as they had enough kick key points, and there's only two to two key points to cast it. Um, so so uh, 
it was something that was very, very easily ab ab abused. This, on the other hand, is not as ab ab uh, abusable simply because it takes your ch ch channel divinity and it's going to take away from the next thing we're going to, to talk about here. Um, and, and you have to take a sh sh short rest to get, get it back. Um, so I really like it. And like I said, this is uh, uh, when you think again about a martial kind of uh, divine uh, uh, fighter, um, this makes p p perfect sense because they're using their divine nature to give them a massive b b b b bonus in combat. Again, unless something has tremor sense or blind sight or tr tr true sight, they can't see you, but you can s s s s see the the, the the them. This makes you very very p p powerful. And uh, if you use it w w w with your um, uh, uh, allies uh, right in the next to you, they get this as the same benefit, which is something that the shadow monk c c couldn't do. Um, so yeah, um, <clears throat> I r really really l l l l l like marine little layer i think it adds a lot i think it fits this paladin really well uh, however fury of the tides is another interesting one this one is as a bonus action you can channel the p -p powerful might of the waves to bolster your t -t attacks for one minute when you hit a creature with a w -w weapon attack you can choose to push the target to 10 feet away from you if the target is pushed into an obstacle or in another creature, they take additional b -b bludgeoning damage equal to your c -c -c charisma modifier. This is really, really b -b big. I've mentioned many, many, many t -t times before. I am a h -h huge fan of what I call controller type c -c -c classes. Classes w -w where, uh, or subclasses, or whatever, where their main goal is not so much to do the most damage or anything. Their, uh, 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 their goal is to control the battlefield. You get to pick where the enemy is, is standing, or you get to p -p pick what the enemy c -c can do. Fury of the Tides is uh, kind of a hybrid between uh, damaging and that c -c 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 control aspect. Um, for a full m m minute, which is 10 rounds, uh, every attack you make, which with a p -p Paladin, once you hit 5th level, you have extra t -t attacks. You, that's two attacks p -p per round. If you dual wield, that would be three attacks p -p -p per round. Uh, every time you hit, you can choose, you don't have to, uh, b -b but you can choose to push someone to the 10 feet. Um, this effectively means you can really move the, 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 the entire battlefield around. The other thing that's nice is you can also use this to just get extra da, 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 da damage. Um, uh, Paladins, their spellcasting ability is c -c -c charisma. So uh, they're already going to have at least a decent c -c -c charisma. If you get someone backed up against a wall or you get a bunch of people right in the next to each other and you just hit them two or th th three times over and over again and this is someone else, uh, that's your normal attack is going to be your weapon did the damage die, but plus your strength mod. And now you're adding your charisma modifier. You're going to be doing a lot of damage. Then type, uh, um, add on a divine smite every so often. Uh, this is really, really, really uh, going to, 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 to improve your ability to, 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 to do damage. Um, and again, um, it's not... It's not to the p -p point where I feel it would be over p -p powered because again, paladins are burst damage t -t 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 type uh, c -c -c uh, uh, classes. Like the, the the paladin is a burst damage c -c class. Again, this only lasts for a, m a minute, um, and because it's your Chichi channel divinity, you can only use it once per sh -sh short rest. But for that minute, you become a c -c -c controller and additional d -d damage dealer really well and not only can you use this to control the b -b battlefield you can use this to protect your f -f friends your squishy w -w -w wizard has too many p -p people around him that he can't g -g -g get away go over and just hit them away um or uh your your, your um uh, uh you have uh, an ally that, 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 that that's uh unconscious making the death saves one of the bad guys coming up to start making him fail those d -d 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 death saves, knock him away and get him b -b 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 between them. Like there's so many uses to the, uh, uh, the ability to move 
uh, enemies without a save, without anything. This is just movement. So again, I think both these channel divinities are really s s strong. I think they have their uses in a lot of different s s s situations. Um, and uh, yeah, I l love them. I think they're good, 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 great. Um, <clears throat> at sixth level, uh, you get an aura. That's another thing that's kind of uh, uh, a paladin th th thing. Um, now, again, in the fifth edition, the things that define the class should show up within the first t t t t two levels. That's the kind of overarching d d design. Auras don't show up for the p paladins until around so the sixth level. Um, but uh, there's something that has been a part of the p p paladin class since I think like second ed edition. They just get these auras that allow them to do extra th th things. So uh, this particular o o aura is called the Aura of the L L Liberation. Um, and it extends for 10 feet out f f from uh, uh, you. Um, uh, it's basically you and any c c creature of your choice within 10 feet of you cannot be grappled or re restrained, as well as ignore p p penalties on movement or attacks while under w w water. Uh, creatures that are already grappled or re restrained when they enter the, 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 the aura can spend five feet of movement to automatically escape non-magical re re restraints. And when you get to 18th level, it goes to th th 30 feet. Um, <clears throat> so this one, uh, uh, this one I, I, I think could cause a lot of, 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 of issues simply because the restraint, uh, grappling is is not a huge th th thing in D&D. It re re really isn't. Um uh, however, the restrained, or at least in fifth, fifth edition, um, the uh, restrained condition um, happens a t -t ton, um, and it's not j -j 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 just done by someone coming up and g -g grabbing you. There are a lot of monsters that have the ability to t -t -t to restrain. There's some spells and abilities that cause a target to t -t -t to be r -r -r restrained. So this. Uh, doesn't require uh, uh, anything. The aura is just always on. Um, uh, complete immunity to the grapple condition isn't really that big, big a deal. But the restrained condition uh, is potentially g -g -g game breaking because you take a rather large p -p part of uh, fifth edition um, abilities and uh, things, and it's it just doesn't exist, exist anymore. Um, it would be something I would need to see in Giga -Giga -Giga game to say whether or not it, it, it was um, um, really b -b broken or anything, but just the in initial read of it. This is, this is something I would say maybe uh, like uh, for, for, for me, I would prefer it something like you get advantage on breaking g -g 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 grapples or you can... Uh, um, make it easier to, 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 to break them. Uh, but just being completely immune to them takes a lot uh, 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 away from a lot of monsters. Um, uh, the uh, penalties on movements and attack while underwater, that uh, is perfectly fine. There, I don't really see this as an issue, uh, mostly because there's a lot of ways to get around that. Any um, weapon that does piercing damage doesn't uh, get disadvantage on underwater attacks. So spears, daggers, short swords, none of them um, have issues while underwater. So that's not that big a deal. And the movement of the thing, while yeah, that does change things, there's so few instances where you're actually going to be in underwater combat that this just seems like a good idea to give this paladin that particular thing to make them very, very useful in a very specific situation. And it fits with the theme. Like I said, the only thing I have an issue with uh, is the restrained condition. Um, even if it was just you're immune to grappled, uh, but not the restrained condition. Because like I said, there's there's quite a few different uh, situations where uh, the restrained condition comes <clears throat> comes from something without any grappling involved whatsoever. So that's the only issue with it. Um, but yeah, um, like most p -p paladin auras, like one of the b -b -b auras they could get is they're immune to f -f fear. And I believe that's all p -p paladins uh, get that uh, um, uh, aura. Uh, yeah, it's aura of courage at the 10th level. Um, 
one of the things that's really, really good, good common to see paladins doing is they will literally, if someone gets uh, feared, they will literally just run run over to to, 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 to where that per, 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 per person is. And as soon as the person gets within the, the, their aura, they're instantly fixed of their f- f- feared condition. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, that's really how you use the, 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 the auras that give you immunity to s- s- certain things. Um, is just go around anytime you see something like this. And without this b- 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 being changed at all, you literally, part of b- b- being the, the, the paladin here, would be going around to people that were g- g- grappled just to get them inside your aura um, so that they could break free of their g- g- grapples and the, the, the thing, things like that. So, um, 15th level, you get what's called this is stormy w- 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 waters. Um, uh, you can call c- 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 crashing waters around you as a r- reaction whenever a creature enters or exits your m- 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 melee range. The creature takes 1d12 b- 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 bludgeoning damage and must succeed on a s- s- strength saving throw or be knocked b- b- prone. This is really, really c- c- cool. Um, first of all, it's, it's a f- f- 15th level ability, so it should feel p- p- powerful. Once you're getting up to f- 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 15th level... Um, there's a lot g- 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 going on in f- f- fifth edition. Uh, so 15th level massively t- t- changes how, f- uh, are not that level s- specifically, but by the time you're in 15th level, you're, uh, towards the tail end of, uh, to the tier three. Um, so to me, this does not seem overpowered whatsoever. Uh, it's limited in the, 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 the idea that it uses your r- 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 reaction. Um, however, that's also a big d- d- plus f- 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 for it. Um, I've mentioned b- b- before, fifth edition action economy uh, is uh, the, the the most telling instance of whether uh, of what side has the, the the advantage. Whichever side has more actions, more th- the things they can do, they have the advantage in c- c- combat every single time. That's how fifth edition was d- d- designed. Stormy Waters gives the p- p- paladin um, uh, something they can almost always use their the, the, the reaction f- f- for. Um, when a lot of t- 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 times um, your reaction is not used, most p- p- players the only reaction that, that, that they ever use is the opportunity to t- 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 attack, uh, w- which um, there's very limited times when you can actually t- t- do that. This any time a creature enters or exits your m- 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 melee range, you can use this. Um, exiting, you can d- 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 do a uh, an opportunity attack, which, um, especially for a p- p- paladin, opportunity attack is always going to be b- 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 better um, b- 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 because you can smite on it. Um, so that's just extra damage. But entering, again, when you think about the, 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 the fact like the Fury of the t- Tides thing where you can push people uh, out... Uh, combine that with just a stormy waters and you have a really, really p- 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 powerful b- 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 ability, especially if you have a reach weapon um, uh, like uh, uh, a glaive. Glaze, uh, glaive paladins are really, really p- 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 popular uh, if you g- 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 give them the, 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 the um, oh, I can't remember the feet, the sentinel f- f- feet, because it allows them to make opportunity attacks whenever anyone g- g- comes into their r- r- range. Um, this effectively lets you do, 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 do that without needing a, f- a feat. And I love the prone axe suspect because a D12 of b- b- bludgeoning damage is not that b- 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 big a d- 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 deal. However, uh, the ability uh, to, 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 to knock them prone is that's going to be changing the, 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 the action economy because once you're p- p- prone, it takes half your speed to get b- 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 back up. Doesn't matter what your speed is, it's always a half. Um, so if you have um, a creature that, 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 that's, uh, you know, really, really f- f- fast and is trying to, 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 to get to one of your squishies, uh, knock them prone, and you've literally just taken away half their m- 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 movement speed. The other thing that's nice about the p- p- prone condition is melee attacks within f- 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 five feet uh, have advantage. Um, which is another way you can f- f- affect the action c- c- economy. If your attacks are more likely to, to, to hit because you have a v- advantage, or you're more likely to get g- 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 crits uh, because of your v- v- advantage, you are getting an advantage on your s- s- side uh, f- f- for 
the 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 the, the um <clears throat> um for the, the the action economy to to to, to uh, into the total. So really really cool, interesting the the, the, the thing. Um, I like that it's only limited by your re re reaction and it's not limited by you can do this, you know, five times per, per, per short rest. Because I think this is a really, really y y y useful ab ability, especially if you have other melee at attackers um, in uh, the, the, the party. And again, um, when you think of the paladin as a martial f f fighter kind of divine f f fighter guy, uh, the ability to knock your opponents p p p p prone uh is really really y y y y y useful um simply b b b because you can walk over uh and then do all of your t -t attacks with advantage and then you know get a crit and s -s smite them and yeah super c -c cool um 20th level for p -p paladin oaths uh, is always a to, to transfer for formation and some of them get really cool um oath of vengeance one of my p -p personal f -f favorites they get this thing where they sprout wings and they get this aura that makes anyone uh within the aura uh afraid of them like it's super super cool um the uh oath of the open sea gets what's called mythic s -s swashbuckler um the um uh, the uh, transformations always work this is the same way. Um, you get it once per, 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 per long rest. Um, it uses an action to, to, to change, and it lasts for a m m minute. So this is, again, kind of fitting into that burst damage style p -p paladin. This is a one and done th -th thing. Uh, but this one gives you... Uh, basically, uh, um, you learn to, to, to channel the spirits of historic s -s sea captains to briefly b -b become a paragon of heroic adventure. Effectively, you become Arrow of a Flynn in Captain b -b -b Blood. Um, you get a bunch of d -d 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 different uh, 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 benefits from it. Um, climbing costs no additional m -m movement. Normally, climbing uh, costs twice as much m -m -m movement uh, whenever you do c -c climbing. And you have advantage on strength athletics checks that involve c -c climbing. Um, so this kind of fits into that idea of, you know, running up the r r r rigging and, you know, going down. There's a really f f famous seaman, c -c Captain Blood, where he takes a dagger and he s s sticks it into the sail and he rides it down as he c -c cuts the s s sail. Uh, they um, um, they reference it in the, 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 the Goonies. Uh, Chunk does that uh, w w w w with uh, 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 Lars, I think, I think his name is. I can't remember his name. The 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 the, the guy. Anyway, um, yeah. So that kind of fits in there. Uh, on a more practical thing, in combat, there's not a lot of uh, instances where you're doing a ton of climbing. Um, normally, it's just not something you just see. Uh, that being said, uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, the idea of 3D combat. Uh, in D and D, most combat happens on two p -p -p planes. Um, <clears throat> people use b -b battle maps, and they're all f -f flat, and you only think about how far s -s something is away from you laterally. Um, I'm a big fan. Like b -b uh, my, my, my uh, dragoon subclass for the d -d Dragon Knight is built on the idea of turning combat three d -d -d dimensional, and I think this uh, uh, m mythic swashbuckler th the thing does <clears throat> very much lean towards that three-dimensional combat I like. So as much as in most instances you won't you, you use this, uh, just because that's how most people play, um, <clears throat> if you want to, to, to use this, this opens up a third dimension for your KKK character. So I like that. I th 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 think it's interesting. Um <clears throat> If you are within five feet of a creature and no other creatures are within f f five feet of it, you have advantage on your attacks against that c -c -c creature, um, which, again, just kind of fits into that hero m -m mentality. And anytime you can get it v -v 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 uh, advantage, it is useful. Uh, and again, especially for a p -p paladin, because those d -d divine smites, anytime you're giving a p -p paladin an advantage, you're improving their d -d -d divine smite ability. Uh, because anytime they could crit, they're going to add a, a smite on. It's just how uh, a good paladin is played. 
Um, you can take the dodge action as a b -b bonus action, which is huge. Uh, the dodge action makes any attacks against you have d -d 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 disadvantage. Um, it's super, super useful, um, and almost no one you, you uses it uh, because it takes your action to, to, to do. Um, I actually was playing, uh, I have a, a Vengeance Paladin uh, for the D&D &D Adventures League. We were actually playing this, this um, combat where these snakes kept attacking the party and they were doing crazy d -d damage and we just couldn't hit them. So we ended up doing, um, I moved uh, in front of the p -p 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 party because there were ranged people in the p -p party. Um, and I basically stood in the doorway with these things that's attacking me and I stopped attacking. I just took the dodge action over and over again and they couldn't hit me because I was already, I think I already had like 17 or 18 AC, um, which I think I was only level five or six. So that's pretty decent AC at the, 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 that level. Um, and yeah, it was super, super useful, but I didn't get to attempt to attack or anything, but we were able to get to, to, to triumph over that uh without any uh, uh issue because i was the one that was pr pr protecting the party uh which isn't really uh, a vengeance paladin kind of thing but it worked um with this um unless you're d d dual wielding which i i love dual wielding p p paladins i think they're s s super cool and super f fun to play um however uh it's really really c c common for paladins to either go s s sword and board uh which is a sword and shield or to go to two handed and use great weapon f f fighter um, uh, attacks and stuff like that to just do crazy amounts of d -d damage. And with that, you don't have a use for your b -b bonus action. And again, I keep s -s saying this over and over again, action economy in 5th edition is really important. If you can have something that allows you to always use your b -b -b bonus action, you are in a b -b better p -p place uh, than anyone else. And this gives you, not only does this give you a, a good use for your b -b bonus action, um, <clears throat> uh, but it makes you harder to, 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 to hit, which will, uh, make them waste some of the, the their actions missing you. Um, so I like that. And then you have advantage in all dexterity of ability checks and dexterity saving throws against effects that you can see. <clears throat> Again, really, really yeah, 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 useful, especially since paladin, uh, uh, paladins, because the, they're already, um, mad cookie classes, multi attribute d -d -d dependent cookie classes. Um, a lot of paladins will lowball their d -d -d deck score, uh, simply b -b -b because, um, you get no benefit when you're wearing he heavy armor from having a good d -d 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 deck score. Um, so a lot of paladins will low b -b ball that, but that means magic s -s spells, which a lot of them you, you, you use deck saves. Um, put them at a, 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 a disadvantage. Uh, this uh, is g -g 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 great. Having advantage on deck saves against the effects you can see is super, super g -g useful and can massively uh, to, to change the t -t -t tide of c -c -c combat. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, um, I love uh, uh, all of this. Um, I think it's really, really good, 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 great. Uh, Matt Mercer has a history of good, 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 creating content for, for, for fifth edition. Uh, he created the um, uh, Blood Hunter good, good, class, which is one of my f -f favorite good, 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 good classes. Um, I believe it has four uh, subclasses that he uh, b -b -b built for it as well. Um, he's created a bunch of other s -s -s subclasses, like he created a monk subclass. He's created. Uh, some wizard, uh, uh, I think a couple wizards uh, subclasses. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's done a t -t ton of stuff like the, 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 the that. Um, <clears throat> so it doesn't really s -s surprise me that despite the fact that he p -p put out this warning that, hey, this may not be p -p perfect and everything, this is a really s -s solid kick of class. Like I said, the only thing that makes me hesitant is Aura of the Liberation while it fits with the theme of the class and the f -f flavor of the class being immune from the restrained condition at sixth level um i think is just too pow -pow -pow powerful um and needs to be reined in somehow uh everything else about it i think is great and if you choose to play this paladin you're going to have a very unique uh way to play your paladin and that's what i i i 
think is the most important thing about it in a new subclass. It should let you feel different when you're playing it. Not just from, you know, a lore and a role-playing perspective, but um, uh, if you've got two paladins and this is the same group and one is uh, uh, Open Sea and one is D -D Devotion, they should play extremely d -d 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 differently to the point where neither one feels like uh, uh, the other one is is kind of taking their th 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 stealing their th th thunder, um, and I think this does a really good 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 job of d -d 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 doing that. So, yeah, uh, in the c -c comments below, let me know what do you th th think of this n -n 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 new oath. Uh, like I said, I really th th think it's good 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 great. Um, I, uh, I I want to s -s -s see it. Uh, uh, in a, a, a play, obviously, if you watch a, a Critical Role, you will probably get to see it in play since Ford is, is using it. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments down b -b below what you th th think of this p -p particular s -s subclass of b -b Paladin. Um, as always, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the l -l like button. Um, it uh, lets me know that you guys are enjoying this stuff. Uh, and uh, it helps it so uh, other people can see it as well because it feeds the, the, the algorithm. Um, also, uh, if you enjoy uh, content like this, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I try and put out uh, at least one video a week. Uh, normally, I try for uh, to, to two if I can. My mental health, uh, 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 de de depending on how my m m m mental health is doing. So, uh, yeah, more s -s stuff uh, uh, is always c -c 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 coming. Um, and, 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 um, uh, yeah, please just, just, just share the video, uh, with everyone. You feel free to just, just share it with Matt Mercer. I sincerely doubt he will, will, will watch it because he has many b b better things to do. Uh, Matt, if, if, if you are watching this, why are you will, will watching this? You have much better ways to you, 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 use your time. Um, but if you are, th th thank you. And I hope, uh, um, I hope you don't m m mind me, uh, c c critiquing and, 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 showing the uh, uh, ins and outs of your n -n new sub sub good 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 class um anyway uh that's all for, for, for me today i will see you you, you guys n -n 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 next time all right bye, -bye.